is today our lesson is on missing add-ins. So we're gonna watch a video, and like I said, my sound is not working off the cover touch, so we're gonna have to be very quiet and listen off my computer, okay? Because my computer is not too loud. Missing add-ins. Sometimes we have a math problem, like this one, with a missing add-in. Let's listen in to math you can do. I know nine is one of the add-ins. The other add-in is missing. Nine plus some add-in equals 15. You can use a related subtraction fact to help find the missing add-in. Now let's think what 15 minus nine equals. It's six. So nine plus six equals 15. We can check our answer by drawing more circles on our domino. We think our missing add-in is six, so let's draw six circles on the right side of our domino. Now we can count on from nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nine plus six equals 15. So six is the missing add-in. Now let's try another problem. Eight plus some add-in equals 14. Think which subtraction fact will help find the missing add-in. 14 minus eight equals six. So the missing add-in is six. Now let's check our answer with a domino. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great job. 8 plus 6 equals 14. And 14 minus 8 equals 6. Okay. So, we have learned... Okay, I'll fix it in just a minute. We have learned that the two numbers we add together are our add-ins. So, what if we have an add-in that is missing? How can we figure that out? And one of the strategies that we could use is we could actually just subtract because we're gonna learn that they're a fact family. So if you know your addition facts, you should be able to know your subtraction facts. So I'm gonna go to this problem here and that's what we're going to explore today. So today we're going to explore how can you use subtraction to find a missing add-in. Now, here is the problem, and I want to show you what I'm, we're going to, I'm going to teach you what to do so that tomorrow when we do our fact families, you'll be like, oh, this is really easy, Mrs. Murphy, because you showed us how to do it yesterday. So Danny has 11 bath toys. She is using six of the toys in the back. How many toys is she not using? So watch up here, guys. Just watch Mrs. Murphy. I'm going to take how many bath toys are total? John, how many bath toys are total? How many are total? Eleven. Okay. So, I'm going to make that triangle from yesterday. 11 is the total. 11 goes at the top. That's like my mom and my dad. Now, down here is my brother and sister. And these are the add-ins. So, Ingrid, they give us one add-in. What add-in do they give us? Six. Six. So, it doesn't matter where, where I put six. Six could be my brother, it could be my sister. It doesn't matter. Because I can switch them around and it doesn't matter in addition. Now, six is going to go here. And I'm going to add how many toys are missing. Well, one way I can do it is I can subtract. 11 minus six will get me that answer. And that's what they want you to learn today. To find this number, you can subtract. Razor, what do you think it is? Five. Five. How did you know that? Did you were you able to subtract? Well, well, yeah. 
Okay, so watch. I can put a five here. I'm going to put it red so it sticks out. And watch this. Six plus five is 11. Or watch, Mrs. Murphy can go this way. Five plus six is 11. Or I can subtract. Watch, 11 minus six is five. Or I can do 11 minus five is Six. It's a pair family. So I have two addition and I have two subtraction problems. Ellie. You could you could do it that way. Good job. Is that what you're gonna say, Wyatt? Did she take your good idea? Oh bummer. Okay, so that is what we're gonna learn today is how we can subtract to get our missing add-in. And that is correct. All right, we're going to do one more. <clears throat> Kyra makes 12 cupcakes. She needs 18 in all for her classmates. How many more cupcakes does Kyra need to make for her classmates? So right away, Mrs. Murphy is going to make a fat family triangle. I'm going to do that right away. Carson, I need you facing. Mrs. Murphy from watching and learning, please. Now, here's my triangle. Carson, how many cupcakes does she, or how many classmates does she have? Well. No. Libby, help him out. Libby, how many classmates? 18. 18, yeah. So, 18 is my biggest number. L-E-A, where does 18 go in my triangle if it's the biggest? Uh, on the top. It's my mom, my dad. Now, she has how many cupcakes? Charlotte, how many cupcakes does she have? 12. 12. She has 12. But how many more cupcakes does she need? So I could subtract that and figure that out. So I could take 18, subtract 12, and I should get my answer. Louis, do you know what it is? What is it? Because it has 18 classmates. And Which we have 18 here, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's like 12 um, cupcakes. And then there's not enough for the class. There isn't. So how many more do we need? Like, uh, 12. So say 12 and then count up to 18. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We need six more. Six more. Six more. Or if we did it a different way, I could take 12 or 18. Let's say I take 18 of you guys. And I have 12 of you go sit down and eat your cupcakes. How many would be left without cupcakes? Six. Six. So I could subtract that to figure out. So I could do 12 plus 6 is 18. Or I could do 6 plus 12 is 18. Okay? Well, Why? we do have 18. We do have 18 students here, don't we, in our classroom? But okay. All right. So right here. This is a related fact. A related fact, okay? All right, now we are gonna go back to our desk and we're gonna do our workbook page to go with this. And I'm actually gonna not do it on there, but I'm gonna do it on this page here, okay? Mrs. Murphy, can you ask 